Hey guys, this is Lady of Crypto and welcome to our weekly crypto analysis. Here we'll take a look at what's been going on in the market and discuss where we think it could potentially be going. I'll apologise for the delay in getting the video out this week guys as we didn't get back from London until late. We're ready and we're raring to go. So first, thank you to our sponsor 8cap, which is the platform that my team and myself trade from. You can check them out by clicking the link below. And nothing in this video is financial advice. This is for educational purposes only. You should always do your own research and never invest money that you can't afford to lose. Here with me, I have my good friend Nick Bencino, who I will be discussing the charts with. So I focus more on the fundamental analysis side of things. Uh, which I use to select my trades, and then I use technical analysis to manage them. Whereas Nick is super savvy with the technical analysis side, so it's great to have him on the show with me. Nick, thank you again for joining me. Hey everyone, thanks for joining, and hello lady. Hey, how are you doing? You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just uh, wanting to get into this week. Get some trades yeah, in. let's do it then. Yeah, let's go. Bitcoin? Cool. We're starting with BTC. Yeah, um... I just wanted to uh, start by taking a little step back and having a look at a, a broader view, really. So one thing that I wanted to mention this week was the stock market. Um, with earnings season around the corner and the earnings reports from quarter four, this could potentially um, pump the markets this week. But recently we have been seeing crypto decouple from the stock market, so it might not have much impact on the price of BTC at all. Yeah. Uh, but it's just something to, to bear in mind, really. Um, also, uh, DXY is down, it has found support and looks pretty bearish. So for those who aren't familiar, so this is the value of the dollar against other currencies. And if money continues to flow out of the dollar, then it could flow into crypto. So maybe there is a case to be made for the recovery in BTC. Um, either way, you know, I always prepare for both bullish and bearish scenarios. So yeah, let's talk about that. Cool. Um, so we have seen a little rally from Bitcoin, but by no means do I think we're out of the woods yet. Uh, the good news is we have seen some alts pump this week, so hopefully you guys have been able to take some profit. Um, so as I've said before, I would want to see the 46 to 47k mark before I felt more confident that the bulls were regaining control. Um, saying that though, it, it is nice to see some green candles. So I'm looking forward to here. the next few weeks. You're yeah. Up here. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I'm looking but, forward to the next yeah. few weeks too. Uh, honestly, I'm fine with either bullish or bearish. So if it goes, if it goes up above forty-seven k, I'm bullish. If it goes up above fifty-three k, I'm super bullish, and that's great. But I'm also fine with it going down to thirty, going down to twenty, even. I loaded up at forty k though, but I've not taken any profit yet uh, because it just hasn't really moved up enough. Yeah, I'm the same. I haven't taken any profit yet. Um, I won't be buying any more Bitcoin or taking any profit until we're over 45k. Yeah, that makes sense. 45k is a good number. Just before the yearly open, because the yearly open could act as... Uh, this is the yearly open for people who who uh, don't know what it is. It's about the 46183. Uh, the yearly open could act as uh, some pretty big resistance. So... Uh, 45k is a good place if you've uh, bought recently to take profit and that's I guess what we're both doing uh, but you're not taking everything out right you're taking just a bit of what you yeah. bought at 40k cool yeah. yeah yeah nice one thing one thing I will say though I, you know I think if bulls don't make a moon a move soon things could get you know not great um but like I say hopefully this week we could uh see some bullish movement so I think it's just a bit of a wait and see. Yeah, it's probably, it's like this, like, you know, whenever things start moving sideways on support and bulls don't regain control, things just sort of like start tipping down. Uh, so yeah, both scenarios are possible, honestly. It could go bullish, it could go bearish. Just have to prepare for, for both of them. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, my game plan hasn't changed. So if it dips, my next next major buy is 30k and then like you say after that 20k i know a lot of people don't like to uh think about bitcoin at 20k or or even uh or even 10k but just being prepared for it is probably um i'd say it's it's just the best way to go you prepared for a bullish scenario prepared for a bearish scenario at least if you know 
all we can say is one of them is definitely going to happen. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's what it's all about, being ready for any eventuality. So you're not surprised marrying yourself to the idea that BTC is going up or is going down and then having uh, the opposite happen is pretty dangerous. Uh, marrying yourself to any idea is pretty dangerous in crypto because Bitcoin and all cryptos, they, they tend to surprise people. So having a plan for up, having a plan for down, and not uh, focusing too much on what direction it's going, just being prepared for either. Uh, yeah, that's that's the way to go in my experience. Exactly. It's just the nature of crypto, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so we're agreed then. So should we move on? Should we take a look at ETH? Sure. ETH, let's go. Okay. So ETH has had a small rally and it's managed to distance itself from the support level. Uh, so you can see at the... 3100k mark overall my plan hasn't changed i picked up a small bag at 3k like we mentioned last week and as you can see the wick shot down and tapped um i think uh, 2932 yeah uh, i put an order in and it worked perfectly so you put your order in I at like 3k or two... yeah 3k so it actually dipped below then yeah uh, below there i haven't taken much profit yet but I won't do until 3.5, so. Nothing much else really to say about ETH. Uh, are your buys the same as last week, though? So you buying down, uh, what was it, at the 2,800 or 2,700, down about here, and then the 1,800? Yeah, so 27 and 18, 1,800, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Nothing else to say about ETH or... No, no, not really. It will be more of a, a smaller buy at, at 2.7. And then, like I said uh, last week, so it'll be a bigger buy at 1.8. Yeah, go ahead um, yeah, at 1.8. I like it. But apart from that, no. So let's talk Pyre. Pyre, Pyre, P-Y-R. I know you like Pyre. Um, yeah, I like Pyre. I don't know why. Pyre, Pyre just doesn't sound as good. Pyre sounds like fire <laughs> and Pyre sounds like somewhere where you dock your boat. But then again, that reminds me of yachts. So maybe it is good. <laughs> okay um well i just wanted to go over this really briefly um because last week we saw a pretty bullish week uh for this crypto uh we saw a good bounce from the support level at around 10 up to the next resistance which was like 15 16 which is awesome um so if you bought at around 10 you'd be sitting at around 50 percent up where i said i'd be taking profit last week so i hope everybody got on that trade with me um, if so awesome if you managed to get some profit yeah i jumped uh, into that one and took partial profit at 16 and uh yeah. it's done a bit now but to be expected from resistance yeah so yeah um so my plan is to take some more profit around 22 um if we see a retracement then i'm simply just going to be building up my bags again i'd probably be looking for 10 but again it depends on the market conditions at the time yeah, 10 again probably wouldn't be a bad idea or even lower, but I, I struggle to think that Pyro is going to get down to, to like five. Uh, just uh, based on the fundamentals, it's a good project. Getting down to $5 is unlikely. Uh, I'm a buyer at 10, just like you. And yeah. we're going to the conference. That's pretty cool. They're doing a, the Vulcan conference or whatever it's called. Or convention? It's probably a convention. Volcon. Yeah. Yeah, you're so, going to be speaking. Um, <laughs> I know. Um, that's going to be, uh, that's gonna, definitely going to be interesting. It'll be weird to be stood in front of actual people instead of a screen. Um, so, um, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're going to Greece. I think it's the Immortal Convention, which sounds uh, super cool. And hopefully we can sample... Um, some of the world's best drivers too because when in I was going to say when in Rome but when in Greece yeah. um, when in Greece have gyros I can't wait the only gyros <laughs> I've ever had has been in the UK which is probably a poor representation of what gyros actually is but uh, yeah. but yeah that's I mean, going to be fun if you, want, if you want a Sunday dinner and a cup of tea you know you'll be fine but I don't think the gyros uh, be fantastic I must say um, yeah. But anyway, we're, we're going off topic. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at Rose. Rose. Where is Rose on? Yeah, oh, here it is. Cool. So 
This has been a really good performer for me. I took my seed out at around uh, 0.5. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, I held a little longer than you. I held to like 0.56. So yeah, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, thereabouts. I can't remember exactly, but somewhere around this level here. Uh, nice. But not not a major difference, really. Uh, I also took some profit, so I took C plus profit up here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably going to buy the dip back down to 0.45. But yeah, we'll see. Nice. Well, the thing is... People don't take their seed out and then they watch their investments go against them. So now that my seed investment is out, I can invest that elsewhere or use it to buy, you say, buy rose when it dips and just yeah. build a bigger bag. Um, but I actually think I'm going to leave uh, rose for now and see how it does. As We were seeing some uh, price, price discovery over the last few days. So I don't really want to invest my seed capital. Um, and I'm trying to bring my stable up to around 60% at the moment. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean... Your goal is to bring your stable up, so why reinvest uh, seed capital that you've taken out of something? Uh, yeah. I'm out with profit, so I'll probably just reinvest the profit at uh, 0 0.45 uh, and just leave it at that. Uh, but some of the profit, probably not even all of the profit. But yeah, that's my plan for it. Awesome. It seems like a good move. Um, yeah, of course it does, because and... it's my move, so it's a brilliant uh, move. Here we go again. <laughs> Right, okay. anyway, let's let's find another one. Which one do you want so, to talk about? Um, Chompy? Um No, let's let's go to um US. Ah, yes. I read your mind after the third try. <laughs> let's go. Um So in last week's analysis I said I was buying at one point zero eight. It went down almost exactly to there and shot up. Yeah. Not saying I'm psychic, but I must be pretty close. That was that um, was a perfect, almost a perfect <laughs> entry. Uh, 1.08 was great. Great job there, Call on that one. Thank you. Uh, so I, I took partial profit um, just above the resistance. Uh, so, so yeah, like really happy with that. 141? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What percent did you take there? Uh, I think it was, I think I took 50% of what I bought 1.08. Right, so it came down to here, you bought like whatever, let's say $10,000 just as an example number and then you took 5,000 here. Or no, you took yeah. half of what you bought, so whatever, the 50% of what you bought from here. Yeah. Yeah, oh, cool. Nice, nice move. Are you gonna buy back anytime soon? Um, Probably not until a dollar support now. Um, I'm in an extremely good position with UOS and it's worked out, just, just worked out incredibly well. Uh, if it goes up from here, I still have a really good bag, which is all profit. Um, if it does go down, I can buy some more with the profit I've took out on the way up. So, yeah. yeah. Just light, light and breezy with UOS, really. Yeah, best position to be in, really. You've, uh, you're just playing with house money now, so that's nice, that's good. Same with me for, exactly. for UOS, I'm just playing with house money. Great, nice. it's a great crypto, this one. Uh, I just love, I, I just think they're gonna eventually be bigger than Steam. Yeah, no, I agree. We we spoke about UOS a little bit on the last video, didn't we? And you know, it's got some uh, some really good features. And you know, I think it's just a wait and see game. I think it, you know, it's at least very competitive with Steam. So yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that pans out. Um, so let's talk about something a little bit different. So you mentioned um, you Chumby. mentioned Chumbi a minute ago. So let's go with Chumbi. Yeah, I'm um, excited for Chumbi. Yeah, um, Chumbi's been a really good performer again for me. So I took my seed out and also a little bit of profit. I'll put the profit back in if it dips below 0 0.8. Yeah, no, Chumbi is great. Like seed out plus profit, like, like I was just saying, it's the best position to be in seed out plus profit. Now uh, we're all house money and uh, we could just really let this one run. Mm -hmm. uh, 0 0.8 seems like a good buy level to me too. I'm Yeah, I'm targeting anything below 0 0.8. So like 0 0.75, something like that uh yeah yeah mm. i think it'll probably be pretty volatile but the game looks really good um and it's getting a lot of attention too so the staking is out and people love staking so yeah staking is what really caused that pump isn't it it uh it pumped yeah. because of staking it's dumping a little bit but not not really that much in the grand scheme of things mm. uh 
it didn't break its all time high, but you know. Uh, plus, like, soon there's gonna be something soon, either a trailer or a demo or a release date announced. Uh, they all, that's how games work. They'll they'll uh, come out uh, and they'll just keep releasing things. And some sometime soon, I imagine we're gonna hear about trailer, release date, uh, demo, something like that. And then then it will really really hype up, and I think it will really pump from there. Yeah, I completely agree. If uh, something like that comes out soon, it, it could pump a lot. Like you say, most games, they'll have some kind of trailer or demo. Um, so yeah, again, we're just going to have to wait and see where it goes. Yeah, cool. So the game plan for this one is essentially, it sounds like we have the same game plan, uh, buy below 0 0.8, and let's just let it run back up. Let it do a uh, hundred times. Not financial mm -hmm. advice. Probably not hundred times. <laughs> I'm, being, I'm exaggerating a lot. But, you're, full of, you're full of hopium today. Yeah, I know, right? I just said it <laughs> Probably not a hundred times, but it could it could pump a fair bit just uh, based on the hype surrounding it. And yeah, demo coming out or trailer or something. Something big coming out should really, uh, should really pump yeah. it. In your opinion, not financial advice. In my opinion, not financial advice. <laughs> Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to um, throw in about Chumpy before we wrap everything up, Nick? That's about it for me, to be honest. I can't think of anything okay. else. Um, I think that just about wraps it up for today. So thank you for tuning in. We are going to be bringing you weekly analysis every Sunday, um, barring today. So apologies again. Like I say, we were slightly delayed. Um, and we'll be keeping you in the loop about what's going on and our thoughts. If you don't already, please follow Lady of Crypto One on Twitter, like and subscribe and hit the little bell to get the notifications on the YouTube videos. And remember, always do your own research. This is not financial advice. Hope everybody has an awesome week. Trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and we will see you soon.